All right, everybody. Welcome back to Act 2 of Cromiel's Adventure in Baldur's Gate 3. Shit's getting interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Last time we fought a spider dude that had the humanoid upper body. I had a lot of eyes on his... I wanna say half of his forehead? Question mark? I don't know, guy was weird. Uh, that said, we are still trying to find a way to, well, get to Moonrise Towers. I am yet to actually understand where I am supposed to be going, but let, let's see. Oh, uh, this way is where I planned to go last time. Let me actually open this. <laughs> you never know what you may find. There is nothing in here. I like the use of the torch here because I feel like the lighting looks very nice. Yes. Okay. There is a wooden chest here. I should probably start trying to pay more attention to my surroundings because you never know what happens here. <laughs> Um, something about the moon shining brightly, there's a lot of darkness now. I must watch the moon in secret from my window or late at night when the town's asleep. Huh. Weird. Well, okay then. Something over there. Alright. Let me drink my coffee real quick. I don't think I care about these. Yeah. I don't know if you can enchant rings or not. Or accessories. Ooh, hello. There's a waypoint. Which I can use to teleport myself there. So I don't have to waste more time doing nonsense. Nonsensical traveling. I gotta... Hold up. Let me lower my mouse, uh... Sensitivity, my DPI. Okay, I am very confused about this area. It's, it's so weird. <laughs> it is incredibly weird. And I don't exactly know where I'm supposed... Oh, wait, hold up. I thought this was the upper side of the map, which was where the goblins are, but apparently not. Okay, so we just go that way. Good, okay, that makes a lot of sense now. <laughs> we just follow this. Weird sounds. Oh, do it again. Okay. What is this random Duergar doing here? He's a level 5 zombie, also he did. Not only is he a zombie, he is a dead zombie. Okay. I wish I could speak to him, question mark? You know what I could try? Okay, let's see now. I have to speak with dead. Not sure why. Both actions, both rituals. I'll remove this one. Because it is extra for no reason. I can detect magic. You know what? Let me try detect magic for once. Okay, we got a hundred turns of detect magic. Alright, so what I'm gonna try is I'm gonna use Shadow Hearts Cure. Did Kremiel seriously just jump down? <laughs> yes, she did. Alright. <clears throat> so, might as well use the torch. <laughs> or Shadow Heart as well. Where is... Let me see. I, I could revive this Duergar. That said, he is zombie. 
I want to see. I want to test stuff out. Okay. So let, let me let me try something. Wait. I was gonna say using torch removes everything. That is weird. I was not aware it works like that. Ah. Well, let me let me not do that then. <laughs> Actually. I will do that, but I will keep my shield on. Why does it why does using a torch remove the shield? That is nonsense. The hell? Okay. Alright, so I could animate dead. Uh that's not gonna work though. We stole curse, that's not no. I'll just use Cure, or whatever, what is it, where is it, the the one that removes the curse, I need to actually find it though, we got detect evil and good, and I feel like it may actually be useful this time around, I don't know if prayer of healing is something, a continual flame is fucking useless, that I know. Oh, import undeath might act. Uh, not import undeath. Uh, corpse grenade. The corpse grenade may be huge value here. Because we can detonate undead with corpse grenade. I just realized. Yeah, because we, we overcharge the undeads. And they blow up in AoE damage. So we will use this. Fuck you mean, let me... Oh my god, do I have to actually click on it? That is so stupid. <laughs> anyway. And then... What I wanna do... I, I may actually want to get Guiding Bolt back. I don't think I need Prayer of Healing anymore. <coughs> And I can remove that and add, add it back during, uh, well, outside of combat. I could also make use of Spirit Shroud. No, but I can't, because I have Spirit Guardians. If I could use multiple concentration spells, that would be good, but you cannot. Alright, we found Remove Curse, finally. So, let me do this for now, okay? I will, uh, actually, I think I'm removing spiritual weapon. And I'm keeping Revify. I think this is the play for a current act. We have Water Walk, but I have yet to actually find a use for it. I have Lesser Teleport, by the way. So I can literally swap my place with a skeleton. Oh my god. I think this is busted in here. I can swap with an undead creature. And I believe there's going to be possibly a lot of undead in this area. Judging by what I've seen so far. If I remove aid, it's going to remove the aid that I've already applied. <sighs> this is so stupid. The fact that I got to keep them on here prepared. F. I have applied them and they say permanent is incredibly silly but it is what it is I hope they change that at some point I actually hope they change that at some point because it's silly that should not, not be a thing within the game like if you've already a applied a condition to a character and it says permanent that should remain whether or not said spell is being unequipped or not. You know what I mean? Because the condition was already applied. And uh, yeah, that makes no sense to me. Uh, that said, am I still using Shield of Fate? It's good. But at the same time, if I want to use Spirit Guardians, I can't use it. So I will have to remove. I need to use something that is not concentration. Why is everything a goddamn concentration spell? Jesus Christ. Okay, where is... 
Okay, I will take the Lassor Teleport. Scaleport, rather. <laughs> I have a lot of uh, level 3 spells on me right now, so I kind of try to... I'm kind of trying to manage them, but it's gonna be rough. Proper, proper rough. We have one, two, three, four, five level three spells. And I got three slots. And I have to use one because I am very curious. I'm sorry. It is what it is. So, first we remove curse. The fuck you mean target isn't cursed? Hello? Alright, um... The game does not have as many options to play however you want as I may have liked. <laughs> Man, come on! I just wanted to remove... It literally says Shadow fucking Cursed! What do you mean target is not cursed? Oh my god. I wanted to revive this fella after I have removed the Shadow Cursed Undead. Curse. Okay. Because this is a curse, it is a condition. Wait, it's those who die. What if I just straight up revive him? Is that a... <clears throat> this may turn up to be a fight, but we'll see. Okay, it is a fight. <laughs> um... Can I remove your curse now? Motherfucker! What do you mean target is not cursed? Okay, uh, Larion? I know you said, uh... <clears throat> you're not gonna be doing any more patching and stuff. Other than the evil endings and such. Maybe patch 7 would be the last. Could you maybe... I don't know... Fix this? I don't know if this is mod related or if this is Larion's, uh... Oversight? Is that the word? But, yeah, somebody needs to fix this. What do you mean it's not cursed? It literally says Shadow Curse. Also, he's undead. Zombie. Cursed. He has a condition. And the game is telling me... Nah. <laughs> nah. Alright. Go back to being dead. I have just wasted my spell. Fringe. Oh well. Okay, they, these folks scared me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so... My dude knows near the drow we killed in the Underdark, which was a true soul. Yeah, you definitely found a way. I was interested to see uh, what he was gonna say in that. But... This is not the way. He's dead now. Man, I'm gonna... I'm sorry. I have to try. Okay? Now he is dead. Hold up. I don't have to revive him now. Okay? I will try this. Let's see. Does not respond. Fuck you! What do you mean? Okay, I will waste another spell slot. I know I'm wasting time on this, but I really want to see if this works. I want to talk to this person. Is that a possibility? Surely you're not a zombie anymore. Motherfucker! They, did they not think somebody would try to revive the dead? <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Well, well <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, goodbye. Brother. Can you like sit down? Thank you. Can't give up now. <sighs> this is the <clears throat> This is quite literally the second time I have revived the dead, only to find myself unable to talk to them. You know, 
for a game highly praised for having a lot of options to do whatever the fuck you want, <clears throat> quote unquote freedom, you're still kind of being limited. That said, I'm not gonna shit on the game for that, but still, I would like more options. Like, you know, they have necromancy spells, but you don't really have options to use them that often. Maybe a patch for necromancy? Alright. I would very, very much like to actually make use of the necromancy stuff in the way that I am trying right now, but it's not working. It is what it is. I tried though. Can't blame me. <laughs> there is a wooden chest somewhere. What? Confusion. The game is telling me it's... Where? <laughs> it's floating around. Okay. It's underground? I'm not even sure. Let me just click it. I cannot reach. Oh, it's upstairs. Maybe. No, it's here. Okay. I have to jump. That's why I can't reach. Oh my god. Just fly there. Thank you. <laughs> Fucking Lazel, bro. Jump scares me. Uh, Lovely day, this. Yes. No. Alright, go knock on that lock. No time to rest. And then you go open it. And, um, fog cloud? What does fog cloud do again? It blinds people. Heavily obscures. Um... Huh. I'm sure this is gonna be useful or not, but... Let's see now. Is there somebody that does not have one of these? I'll give it to Karlak for now. What a charm. So, that's saving throws. Get it ready. Protection from evil and good. How many turns does this last again? Uh, until sh uh, until long rest. Okay. All right. I need to start casting these. So I'm gonna cast protection from evil and good. Let's see. Will should probably cast this. Uh, but let me actually oh, see if Gale you. has it too. Okay. We don't have it on Gale. All right. Will. I'll cast protection of from evil and good on Gale. I don't want to be using Otiluk all that often. That's why I'm doing this because if I use Otiluk, I am literally unable to do anything on Gale, and I will only use that as a last resort. But I believe Otiluk can be casted on somebody else as well. Let me see. Yeah, enclose a target. It doesn't say enclose yourself. Okay. Also, you can't be in huge size, so it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Shadow Heart, I believe, is the other one that has protection from evil and good, but I have to check because I did forget. Careful, I bite. I'm checking to see if the rest have anything, anything of the sort. I'm glad that Karlak actually has a Legacy of Avernus Black, the Smite of uh, Radiant Damage. Yes. Like it's well be done. Um, I did check Lazel. Let's see, does Kremiel have anything of the sort? Do I summon Scratch here? I don't think I have to. I would actually rather not. I don't want to see Scratch randomly die to a dumbass zombie. Mm. Alright. Shadowheart, do you have protection from evil and good? She may not, by the way. Why is everything here all of a sudden weird? Okay, we don't have protection from evil and good. Okay, let me see. Because I kind of feel like I have to equip this. 
because this is until long rest and this will be very good. Very, very good. Is protection from evil and good better than 35 free HP points? Or rather, free HP because the P stands for point. That I do not know, but I... Uh... Sanctuary is good, but if I attack with said person that is in Sanctuary, then Sanctuary goes away. So it's basically Autilux, but I can still attack whenever I feel like. Man, uh, I gotta remove the curse from here because it's fucking useless. And I will add protection from evil and good, because I feel like that's actually decent in this area. Because if we gotta deal with monstrosities, celestials, undeads, fiends, and such, I might as well just have protection from evil and good. Unfortunately, it is a concentration spell, which means the second I activate anything else that is concentration, it's gonna go away. Which is kinda sad. But it is what it is. Is there anything better than this? I could use Warding Bond. Instead. This is not concentration. I feel like v Warding Bond may actually be better. I can't use protection from evil and good on Shadow Heart because I need Spirit Guardians. So it is what it is. I I'll just get Warding Bond, I guess. Ugh, my balance on spells is cringe. But there's literally nothing I can do about it. Protection from evil and good is bad here because if I have it, then I can't use Spirit Guardians. I can't use both. That's the problem. And I need Spirit Guardians. Because this is a major source of damage here, especially if there are a lot of Undead. Because the Radiant damage is gonna be crucial. Let's see, I have a Sacred Flame, Blinding Smite, which does do Radiant, by the way. Spirit Guardian. I have this, but I don't use it. Um, Alright. I think I just Warding Bond Kremiel. I think that's the play. Alright, Kremiel has to jump down. I will Warding Bond Kremiel. Let me do some reorganizing. There we go. What am I to do? Alright. What are you to do? You will warding bond Kremiel. Not Lazel, but Kremiel. Unfortunately, I can't choose this to be a level 1. Which is kind of sad, but it is what it is. So now, Shadowheart takes half the damage Kremiel would take. All right. And then if I use Wraith Form... Okay, if I use Wraith Form as well, I have so much shit in here. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. If I use Wraith Form as well, the damage would become very insignificant. If I remove the torch, surely I can use Wraith Form now. But no, because Shadowheart has no torch. Let me actually remove it. I need to check if. Going. Oh, I don't have the spell slot. I may actually catnap here. You know, I don't think I need the Wraith form right now. Let's figure out a way to get ourselves out of here. Okay, there's a key here. I'm unsure what this key is used for. But I may as well get it. 
The skeleton don't have anything. A bone. <laughs> Multiple. But only one is pickable. Alright. I need to check. Did I have... I don't think I, I've used the, the one spell I have removed. From Shadow Heart. Enough waiting. I crave blood. Sharp as ever. Don't burn yourself. I do need to check real quick if anybody can use. I have ancient grudges. I am unsure whether or not this is good. Uh, advantage on intelligence is decent, especially since she's an Eldritch Knight as well. Absolute aid. You know, Astarion really doesn't need this. Alright, where is that thing? Um, I could give a Stadion an ice knife. Can I use this often? Ah, it's a one-time use until long rest. I mean, an ice knife is still an ice knife, though. Don't. I think I would rather give this to a Stadion than the... I think it's plus 3 HP, no, it's 5. Anyway, I think I'd rather give this to Astarion instead. Oh my god, what do you keep locking? Did I lock that accidentally? I may have. It's a dex save. I think it uses dexterity to do the move. I'm unsure though. It could use intelligence. I don't actually know what is my spellcasting. My primary on Nostarion is Dex. Unsure what the actual spellcasting primary is, though. <laughs> is that blood? No, never mind. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am such a noob at Dungeon and Dragons. I'm sorry, I've never played Dungeon and Dragons. I know I've said this before, but it was not popular in my area at all. It's only recently kind of become a thing since Baldur's Gate 3. And even now, most people still have probably not played it. I know there's a chest. I'm gonna start ignoring some stuff because if I keep playing the way I have been playing, I am never finishing this game. Lazel, can you shut up for a second? This chest is open though, so might as well. I have a bunch of gold. I have yet to actually see the option to redeem myself at good old Scally dude. I get that gift. Huh. Letter of Surrender. Alright. Something about Harpers. High Harper Council. Hmm. Surrender declined. Alright. I get the short sword, we don't care. Let's read this uh Yankee slate. The risen road winds through a mountain pass. Within the hills is nestled a sizable temple. Within the temple the Yankee people have established a stronghold. Okay, we know this already, we've been there. We got an egg, we met the the goddess. Died once to the goddess. Oh my god. Okay, we have met fog. Actual proper fog. Uh, we may need the bell. Gotta remember, we have a bell. In before, it is just a fucking undead city. Alright. From here on out, I'm gonna start playing differently. What is that? What is... Is that a skeleton head? I think it is. Who the fuck is talking? Oh, what the... F what is that? Wait, I can talk to it. Visage of guilt. Huh. Alright. I... Th th there may be a fight. Also, I think Kremiel... 
should get a radiant move now. I'm only doing necrotic and psychic <laughs> and bludgeoning. If only I'd left when I still could. You should leave now. Oh, yeah. good lighting. I should have left when I still could. Uh oh, oh, camera, where are you going? Hmm. Well, okay then. There's a big dude upstairs. Also, I seem to have an event which is very annoying. Can I remove that somehow? Let me check options real quick. Um, interface? Video? I don't think it's video, anyway. Interface, when pinned, exploration, none, turn base, highlight, circle, practical view, highlight, circle. Recent active. We don't care about these. Is there a way to remove that stupid notification? I know I have an event, but at the same time, I don't want to see it always on my damn screen. I don't think I can remove that thing, though. Surely that's a mod. I gotta remove that if that's a mod. I will have to check, but for the duration of this playthrough, I literally cannot remove it because the game may break. I don't want to accidentally break the save. Because we are getting in deep. Uh, let's see. Is it a night event? Pixie Blessing, huh? Ah. Cannot be affected by the Shadow Curse. That's interesting. Oh. Okay. Who? Shadows. Alright, I believe... Wait. Is Will's uh, protection... Oh no. It's uh, on uh, Gale. <laughs> I forgot. Why is Gale up front? The, the fuck? I just realized, my guy is literally up front. I kind of need Gale to do some radiant. Are you telling me these motherfuckers are, are strong to everything but radiant? What? They have resistance to everything in the game. Immune to necrotic. Immune to poison. And then they are only vulnerable to... Yup, okay. Well, I knew Shadow Heart was gonna be useful. <laughs> Uh, see, this is why I've prepared. Does thunder help? Nope. No thunder, no lightning. I mean, it could help, but... How about force? I'm not saying anything related to force resistance, so I'm assuming... They take normal force damage, which would mean Gale can be. Yeah, he's about to Kamehameha. Alright, where else are people, if you know what I mean? Unfortunately, this uh, Aether Lance is kind of weird and has only 9 meters. So, yeah, it is what it is. I don't really want to have to melee with Gale. But I suppose if I could get a good angle up close and personal... Let me actually read. So, the target is protected against aberration, celestial, elemental, fee, uh, fey, fiends, and undead. They have disadvantage on attack rolls, and the target cannot be charmed, frightened, or possessed by them. These are zombies, which are undead. So, they would all have disadvantage on attack rolls, but that doesn't mean Gale's immune to dying to them. So, if I am literally very unlucky on those rolls, <laughs> he can still die. Alright, that is annoying. That is very annoying. That means I can't really put Gale up front. Though, he should be good here. So, flames it is. Unless, actually, let me just magic missile. I think that's the best course of action right now. I will magic missile this one shadow in the front. Yep. Good damage, good damage. Okay, Gale may actually still be useful. Um, 
That said, I will put him a little bit in the back. Pawn to cleric fall. Just a little bit. Just in case. I don't want these to randomly God, it's hot in here. be on top of him. Uh, Double Sunday we are, will actually be useful here. Believe it or not. Because it's force damage. Yup. Carlax actually good. With Double Sunday now. Alright, time to energy boost. But before that, I need to move Karlak kinda here. Kinda up front. Gotta make sure she doesn't go mad. Randomly. Alright. And then, energy boost. We gotta recharge for the next double Sunday, just in case. For some reason, Karlak has the bow out. <laughs> that is weird. Necrotic bow damage. What? Oh. Alright, Lazel. Uh, get in there. You got the jumps. Okay. So, cleave. Or destructo. So this is a one target. I don't think this pierces through them. But this is radiant damage, I just realized. Wait, Lazel's gonna be extra strong here because of this. Motherfucker, what? Huh? Um... Well, that was unexpected. What? This did no damage. What do you mean? Back. Also ended my entire turn on Lazel. Well. Alright, Eldritch Blast. I will destroy the weaker ones first. It just has to happen. Let me do the Key Blast, because Key Blasts are force damage. Come on, Will. I know you're freezing, but still. Alright, um... I don't think a Stadion is gonna be useful here. Problem being that he is necrotic and bleed. I don't know if these people bleed. Can I do the sneak? Nope. Even though I'm the one that kind of snuck up on them? Weird. Alright. Bro. Um. Well. Yeah, I don't think they bleed. So that is a major problem. Alright, let me just do this. In case. Alright. So, let me test something out. Ah, but this is a level 3. I don't have the... See, this is the problem. I wasted my level 3 spell slots. And now I don't actually have the spell slots to do what I want to do. But it's fine. I was kind of wanting to do something. But it's fine. Luckily, this is uh, an action. I can just do this. And then I can turn on Spirit Guardians for massive damage. Hit him, and then hit him too. Good. God, I wish this would hit multiple times per turn. Because then I could just walk back and forth. <laughs> that would be so cool. Actually, because it would make sense. But it is what it is. Alright. Let's see now. I gotta... I'm gonna have to... I don't even know. I'm gonna have to get rid of this Shadow Cursed Harper. That is up front here. But at the same time, I kinda have to get rid of the shadows in the back. 
dilemma, dilemma. I think I will have to do this. Let's see now. I think... I recall having something that would make them not be immune to necrotic damage. I just don't remember what exactly I had. I don't, I don't understand why everything just keeps moving around. It's so annoying. I had like a... Uh, let's see. Ah, so it's unless it's immune to necrotic. <clears throat> Pretty sure they are actually immune to necrotic. Yep. Alright, well, Kremiel is kind of just gonna have to bash them. Drink the drain. Oh, okay, I'm not seeing it. I don't have the, the thing on, why? Okay, if you're wondering what thing I'm talking about, um, Kremiel's fear aura is off for whatever reason, again. Alright, luckily I have multiple sources of force damage. With ease. And they seem to be taking normal damage from force. Okay. Please switch back to melee. Thank you. Fortunately, I can't do this. Um, I do have 28 energy. Why can't I double Sunday? Oh, it's because I switched, and I think that that's a bonus action. It has to be. I'm unsure though. Anyway. Oh, it's a it's a two turn cooldown, I believe. Never mind. It does say two CD. So I'm assuming I can only use that once every two, uh, every third turn. Still, that's a good opener. You use that before you enter uh, melee combat with Karlak, and then I feel like it's very good. Alright, can I cleave you both for decent damage? Eh? Maybe we should kill somebody? Can you die? There we go. This is my time. Yes, actually. Oh, if only I had the summon shadow spawn, it would actually be kind of useful, I guess. Alright, do I have force damage on the chromatic orb? Motherfucker, the only thing it doesn't have is force? Fringe. Oh well. Good. Very good, actually. Then I will key blast. It's good to have a warlock, especially one that has a key blast as well. Not only the Eldritch blast. Okay, Asterion is literally kind of useless here. That is a problem. I don't need appearance editing. Fuck off! Alright. Why can't you key blast? Oh, you have no energy. But that's the only thing you can do, is key blast. Wait, does a Starion have only three energy? That means he can't even key blast. Bro! Alright. Can you kill somebody? Maybe the shadow. Come on. Why are you walking like that? <laughs> Motherfucker not even trying to move. Okay. Sneak. Good. Alright. Oh, uh, 
Oh yeah, this is not gonna work. It's necrotic and they're immune. All right, shadow heart. Wait, where are my spirits? Did she? St oh my God, shadow heart! Did you seriously lose concentration? Fucking hell! All right. Seventy-two. You know what? I'm gonna just do this. Bro, there is no way. There is no way. Oh, but there is a way. <laughs> My guy's 16 decks. Okay, but still. Nothing? That is cringe. Okay. The fact that I lost the spirits is annoying. See, this is why I hate concentration spells. Shouldn't have made me your enemy. It's so easy to break them. Good hit, sister. I almost said brother. Okay, I need to put this back on. For some reason, it's off, even though it says permanent. There we go. We got our Aftera back there. Yep. And I believe... Yep, disadvantage on attack rolls or saving throws. That is gonna be very good. Alright. Blow him up, Gale. Let me make sure it's the level 4 one. If only this would do more damage. They're not lining up for me. I really want to just beam them. All right, I'm gonna double Sunday the fellow in the back. Boom! And he's off balance. This is a good move. And then smack. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use the uppercut. Sit the fuck down. There we go. I think the fact that he is off balance or was off balance made it easier to uppercut. I think. It would make sense. Alright, now hopefully you can't do much. What do you mean? <laughs> I was literally hoping to take less damage. It's fine. No, it's not fine. I just realized Corlex almost dead. What the fuck? Hello? Alright, multi attack defense. What? Okay. Alright, we'll fly in there. To the back. Oh my god, what is this camera angle? Ay, ay, ay. Dollar! Am I the only one that just heard Will say dollar? I miss this. Step quick. Why is Asterion walking like that? He's not even trying to run. What the fuck? Bro, move. Oh, he's displaced. Is that why he's walking like that? Instead of actually moving? Properly? Nice. Right, who, where? Ah. I should probably be checking these bodies. Putrefied tumor. Oil of Bane. What is that? Ew. Huh. Foolish, ill prepared, not quite worthy. Bro, I don't care about that. I'm sorry. Yeah, let me not touch these. I don't think they have, uh, I don't think they have anything though. Yeah. Shadow vestige. Let me click that. I see a man drain his tankard in an inn as he listens to a flaming fist play the lute. He's better than his uniform might suggest. What? 
Confusion. All right, let's dodge the plague. Hey, I can push these plants. Floss, hmm. pain, al, al, what? F loss pain -als. I'm sorry. F loss pain -als al rise al rise. What? <laughs> Am I the only one that doesn't get it? Sure. Sure. Okay, which way do I go? Um, I'm gonna go this way, I guess. That's the way the game's telling me to go. I will not be exploding this all that much again. I do plan on playing through this game again. That's it, what is this? I don't think I can jump there. No, I just, just see the... No? Okay. Well, I, I tried. Can't blame me for trying. Where is the big dude? I wanted to actually... Ooh, we there already? That was kind of fast. Alright, the waning moon. Okay. There is a door. Let me touch that. I kinda... A key. Oh my god, y'all just in the way! Sister, please. Blighted actor. Yeah, I'm not gonna touch these. Alright. I just wanted to see if this is the building from where I came. That that may be it, though. There is a big dude in there. I wanna check what the big dude is about before I move forward. Kinda gave me Dark Souls vibes. Not sure why. I wanna speak to said dude, though. Big dude with chains just dragging them around. Ah. Death. <laughs> Let's not go there. Alright. Getting Gothet Thorm. A cursed keeper of coins. Coin helmet? Coin cuiras? Coin quiz? Coin qui What? Hello! You're literally made out of money! Huh. Yeah, you know what? I don't regret coming back. Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> um. Um. I will bring an end to the curse that shrouds this land? No. What do you require? I require gold. Well, I got a bunch of, of that. Eh. Empty H? Minthara? <laughs> Fucking Cremiel's face. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Hold up. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. <laughs> Bro, bro, Lazel, Karlak, and especially Kremiel. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's the probably the one time I'm gonna be zooming in like that. What is wrong with Kremiel's eyes? <laughs> uh, sure. I don't know what this creature is about, but it is a level 8. It wants my gold. If I give it one coin, it's probably not gonna be enough, considering it's made of, well, full gold. Motherfucker actually fully made of gold. All must pay. All must pay. <laughs> Fucking Kermion's face, bro. Alright. 
Well. Um. Unexpected development. Sure. Wait, these all have 50 HP each? Uh. Whoops. My bad. <laughs> Alright. Why is a stallion stuck on the stairs? <laughs> Do you have sneak? Brother, you literally nobody sees your ass. How do you not have sneak? What? That is silly. Alright, Asterion is actually useless in this area. So, it is what it is. Alright. I will fly. You need to get into melee. Alright, you keep this one visage of greed busy. Please hit it though. Silence? Sure. I'm sure if being silenced is good or not though, but it is what it is. Maybe. Oh, but it's a concentration. Oh, but I have no spells. Oh, but this is a ritual. Hold up. Ah, but I'm gonna break the other one from, from Gale. Mm, not ideal. Eldritch? Up close? Nah. Alright. One and then a two. And then uh, I will key blast from up close. What if I key blast the other one? Nope. Because I'm being marked, kind of. Alright, punch. Punch that head. Realize I can use fire, lightning, and all of that. Oh my god, what the fuck? I am sorry, did that shit just one shot Cremio for 150 damage? Um, wait. Wait. So, I am confused. Where's Shadowheart? What? <laughs> Are you telling me this bitch one shot Kremiel and Shadowheart? Through mm, If only you could see face cam right now. <laughs> I need to bring face cam at some point. Oh my god bro. The fuck do I do now? My only source of radiant damage is dead. My actual main character is dead. Gale's not even there. The fuck you mean? <laughs> oh my god. Alright, uh. Um. Um. Uh... Let me revive Shadowheart? It last much longer. No, oh, I just got one shot by something that should not have one shot you. So you're telling me this whatever gold thing is did uh, I don't know. Also, why the fuck are you all stuck here? At the ready. Gale? Wait, can I teleport my party here? Me Oh my god, oh, let's go. Oh my god, the, the game just saved my ass. Alright, we are not fighting that. What the fuck was that, bro? Hells, I need to hold on. We are not fighting that. Okay, I don't know why Shadowheart and Gale were stuck on that roof. Let's move. But that motherfucker just did like 300 damage to one-shot both of these people. Because... 
face protects me. I had wording bond on Cremio. This... Let me read. Because I am hella confused right now. What the fuck? Um... One bonus to their armor class and saving throws. Each time the ally takes damage, you take the same amount of damage. So no, there's the... I mean, technically, it did 148 damage times 2. I, I am confused. Did I get destroyed because I have a lot of gold on me? Because I do got 4,000 gold. Alright, I'm saving this one for another playthrough. I know y'all may dislike this, but fuck dealing with that right now. <laughs> Yo! Nah. 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 Or do I try again? You know what? Can I... I will send my gold to camp. I'm gonna send my... All of my gold to camp. All of my gold to camp. I am trying this out. I know I said I'm saving that for another playthrough, but... I have changed my mind. I will attempt. All the gold that I have will be sent to camp. Watch your back. Okay, do I have any more gold? The pride of the gate. What do I feel like that? Whatever the flip that is, is one shotting me because of the gold, the amount of gold that I have on my characters. Does that make sense? my decks I don't know if this is good or not let's see 17 AC 18 AC nah so what is cat's grace I think I've checked this before but it's fine yeah okay all right um ready and willing <sighs> Gale will have to sit here because Gale's the only reason we survived this encounter. Because Dumbass could not find his way off the roof. <laughs> I I'm just in case I'm gonna teleport him all the way. Okay. I am trying this again. Still alive, so that's progress. Alright. Surely you can sit there. Surely. Yep, alright. Well, we're going back in. Um... I have to send you... Now. Good. Alright. Let's try. Alright. I can't fly, I have no energy. Man, come on. There we go. Alright, I, I still can't fly because I got no energy. <laughs> oh, he has autopsy. If they're humanoid or undead. Ooh, this is useful. Hold up. Asterion may be able to prove himself yet. Alright. These are all upstairs. Do I just wait? Okay, I'll wait for now. I will wait a turn. I need them to come at me. I need them to waste their turns coming at me. <sighs> you know, for a fatty, you're fast as fuck, boy. 
or girl, or whatever you are. Okay. Unfortunately, Karlak has no energy. Because I'm a dumbass and I forgot to check. Why oh, can't double Sunday? It's very sad. Alright. I'm gonna wait here, though. Because there's no way I'm going there. Um, I'm gonna hit the Visage of Cowardice because I can actually... Poor fucker. Alright, I'll try again. Okay. Seven damage. <laughs> How do I kill that? Alright, Shadow Heart go up front. This is a level one, so I got four shots of Guiding Bolt to attempt to kill this bastard. Alright, Guiding Bolt it is. I have a level 2 even. Let's see now. I can try the blind when it gets closer. At the same time, that shit is made of gold, no? What if I try to heat metal? Does that work? I'm gonna try. Uh, I, I, I can Valkana, Valkana's Corpse Grenade one time. This one is not immune to anything. I believe. Uh, whoop, wait, what? Ah, it's not a corpse. Mm. Not ideal. So it has to be a corpse. 100% corpse. Wait, I can turn on there. Okay, useful. Useful. Uh, I only have two of uh, channel divinity though. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. God, I wish I had blinding smite. Alright, guiding bolt it is. Um... Why do you... Uh, hello? Why are you unable to hit? Motherfucker, does it not have range? Oh my god. Alright. Pain! Okay. I need to kill the visage. The, not the visage, the gold, the, the gold fella. I don't know what this... Uh, how do I beat that? <laughs> I don't have the range to even hit it, bro. Alright. For me, all we'll have to get on here. Come on, just get behind this one skeleton head. Three damage is not ideal. I need you to do way more. <laughs> way more. Okay. Let's see if uh, gold was the problem. Because maybe... Ever since I removed gold, this fucker is not doing anything. So maybe that's the problem. Maybe the fact that I had gold on me is the issue. Because now I don't think he does anything. Or it. Remove the armor without destroying the coin. How? Jesus, 20 decks! Okay. Yeah, that makes no sense. Why are you 20 decks? Ah, <sighs> they really had to go full inclusive with this one, huh? I'm sorry, I'm kind of overweight too, but 20 decks? Motherfucker, you are unable to move when you're that fat! Yes, that's called fat. Thick. That's a thicky. I'm sorry. What do you mean 20 decks? 
Uh, you can't... Listen. Uh, game developers do not have to cater to everybody. Okay? They need to learn. You mean you can't find path? Surely you can. Bro. You are literally here. Just fly the fuck up there. Oh my god. What? Well. Okay. <laughs> oh, maybe... We, we hold up. Maybe we found something. There's a plus one great tax. I can't check anything. Annoying. Alright, let me check this chest. Hopefully a stadion can do that. Motherfucker, open it! I know it's... Make it quick. Ay, ay, ay. Do I have to literally tell you to open the chest? I know it's unlocked. That's why I clicked it. So you open it, unlock it yourself. Alright, what is this? Whenever you take fire damage dealt by another creature, you gain two turns of heat. Fucking useless! Actually! Sell. Bro, where's the book? Okay, let me read. Maybe there's something that helps with this. Nope. Well, it is what it is. Alright, I doubt this axe is gonna be useful, but might as well. Figures, fucking useless. Alright. This is my time. Okay. Uh Will? Can you actually make it your time and be useful? Maybe kill this off? Or can you hit that? Ooh, high defense, but fast interrupted. It's 70% though. Please tell me you can hit that. Thank you. Dollar. Dollar. <laughs> this armor one shots Will because he's full of money. Dollar. <laughs> Come on. Come on. 17? So you're telling me this guy is very weak to force? Because this does 1 to 8. How did I do 17? Alright, I will assume he is very weak to force damage. Because that's the only way this makes sense. So... Maybe because he's made of gold, he is weak to force? Um, I need to energy boost? I need to make sure I can use Destructo Disc. I need to try. Jesus! Wait, that... My fucking terror aura is gone on Crimeal again. Uh oh. Yeah, okay, so it's because of the money. So because I had money, that bitch one-shot me. So the only way you counter this properly is if you send all your gold to camp. Okay. I'm glad I can do that, actually. <laughs> Time to double Sunday this motherfucker. High defense, though. It's not good. Yeesh. Yeah, he's very high dicks. Or she. Whatever that is. Okay. Let's try to concussive smash. How do you still miss, though? French. Okay. Alright, but this is way more manageable now. Okay, this is a wisdom save. And 12 wisdom. Surely this does damage. But let me check. Uh, okay. Let me let me try heat metal for once. It 
It's a 100%. I wonder what this does. Okay, that's he get gold. <laughs> um, does this do anything? So, the caster can deal 2 to 16 fire damage to the creature touching the heated metal. I mean, it's basically heated metal, no? Because that's what it looks like. I think it counts? Question mark. We shall see. Alright, Kremiel got this, surely. Solo, come on. 1v2, you got this. For whatever reason, the aura of terror is off again. I literally just turned it on. Stop going off, what the fuck? Surely these can be afraid, no? They're low charisma. Okay. Yeah, this is way more manageable now. So this is why I tried to remove my gold before doing anything. Good play, good play. Oh my god, the flying is so bad in this game. What do you mean you cannot find path? This will do nicely. Jesus Christ. Astarion is... Why are you not running? Is it because I I'm, I'm using focused listening? It doesn't say... Can I turn that off? Let's see if he can run now. Alright, do you have sneak now? Because you've been out of com- uh, kinda out of combat, actually. Not really in turn. Oh well. Sad. I don't think this is gonna do anything. Why can you not shoot from there? It's nine meters. What the fuck do you mean? Oh. Oh, this, this fire stalker is very bad, apparently. Huh. It's, it's kind of almost melee range. Alright, I may have to stay away from the heated gold. Oh, well, unable to do that. It is what it is. I can shadow teleport, actually. And I should be doing that with Will. I don't want Will to be tanking. Good. Very good. Because I want him to be able to Eldritch Blast. Uh, high defense is not ideal. Poison it's not gonna work. But, nope. What if Acid? Well, it is what it is. Dollar. I am fury. I am dead. All right. Time to attempt the Procto disc. Twenty-five. Jesus. It doesn't say that it's a deck save or something. It says nothing. But maybe because it's piercing. It's, it's piercing first, radiant after, even though it says it's, it should be the other way around? Maybe that's why? I am confused. Oh, I'll, I'll have to hit this one. Yeah, I believe it's piercing first, radiant after. Unlucky. Did you even reach at anything? I didn't even... Notice anything actually. Why are you missing though? 
Yeesh. I don't like being blinded. What do you mean? Can't move. Frightened. Like I think this. is a problem. Okay, Karlak is dead. That's fair. Luckily, I have no gold on me, otherwise this would have ended long ago. Alright, but how do I deal with it though? I kinda have to save Karlak. I'm gonna Solar Flare. Alright. And surely now I can just go. Do I have Stabilize on me? Uh, I do, but not really, because it's an action. I need a bonus action that is able to save people. I don't have a level 2 spell slot, so it's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. I think Shadowheart is the highest AC I have. I may have to use have to keep going. the compelled duel. All right. I may need Kremiel down there, like ASAP. Okay, what's happening? Remember, I still have Gale outside. Okay, so I can teleport my party anytime. I don't know if I should be taking Gale in here or not. I feel like I gotta kill this one though. Will you die? Thank you. Ah, I see. Okay. Okay. I have found its weakness. Alright, so the way you deal with this one without actually having to fight the big the big person right there is you kill off the visages. Okay, Kremiel, you got this. You got this. He blast in the face. Alright, we got this. I'm bringing Gale in. We got this. We proper got this. Alright. I need to teleport him somewhere where he is able to just bomb nuke everybody. You know what I mean? Alright, surely this is good enough. But at the same time, I may just have to remove this wall. So it gets easier. I think I just smash it. Okay. Laser Lyles does not work. Alright. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind then. Um, we're going down. <clears throat> there we go. We brought Gale, we brought Gale into the fight. Well, so much for All right, whose turn is it? It's not Gale's. It's Starion. Good. All right, I will ignore the big fella from now on because this there this is way easier. All right, that is very cool. And I will go and do this. A little bit of a poke. I don't think this is going to do much, but it does have piercing damage. Okay, it did one necrotic, but it did seven piercing, so it's still useful. Still useful. I... Uh, may want to brace with Will. Or I could just do this, because the motherfucker is blind for two turns. Yup, found the weakness. There we go. There we go. That's huge weakness right there. 
Because these uh, grim visages are way easier to kill than the big fella. It's being stripped of the gold for whatever reason. It's like they're being linked. That is way easier to deal with. Alright. Energy boost, please. And destructo. Nice. Maybe I should have hit the other one. It's fine. Ah, I did not notice there was another visage here. <laughs> Venomous guild? The fuck? Ooh, Karlak needs to be saved, like ASAP. Combustible coins. Ah. Alright. Hmm. Is it time to aid? No, I can't do this. Okay. I will just straight up cure wounds here. Because I feel like this is just the best play. And then surely you're still blind. And let's see now. This requires 15 energy, so I'll have true. I will have to try the quick energy boost. Seven. Damn it, man. Heading there. All right, it's fine. I'll just <laughs> block people with Shadow Heart. Now, luckily, I can energy boost. So next turn, I should be having double Sunday. If I can actually do something with Karlak. These motherfuckers don't care for being blind though, that's the problem. Because they AoE. It's very, very annoying. Alright, Kremiel, get in there. Oh, I wish I had Death Beam. Because it's kind of good here. Do I have anything that is very strong that I can use to just destroy these? Not really. Okay, we're going down. I do have Aura of Terror now. I will hit this one. Shit. I was hoping that one dies. <laughs> oh my god, Karlak, you're dead already. Again. But there's one on the roof? Alright, Gail, I know what you're doing. Okay. They're just coming down on your own. <laughs> sure. Alright. What I need to try with Gail. Damn it, man. I can't do what I want to do, so I will have to try something else. What I will try is to... First of all, I need to move here. If this doesn't work, Gale dies, by the way. Step by step. And then I will Thunder Wave. Maximum damage. And I will push both the gold and this creature away. Thank you. Mistra's Gate. The fuck is that? Man. Let me read. Uh, you says that the Spellquake have drawn the gaze of Mistra to avoid unnecessary trouble. It's best to proceed with caution for now. You're telling me I got 20 turns of this? The surging magical power within you creates ripples in the weave. And frequent use of spells may result in wild magic surge. But I've had this... All the time? Question mark? Fatal punishment during this time? Oh my god, Gale. Brother. I don't think this counts as a spell. Alright. I'm um, gonna move Gale here. 
and I think I just have to get out of combat with him now because he's fucking useless again. <laughs> for the slaughter. If, if he can't use spells, he's literally useless. That's the only thing he got spells. Okay, can, can you do something though? Alright, just get in there. Get into melee. Alright, hit him. I was expecting more damage. I should have used autopsy. It's fine. Right, which one is lowest? That would be this one. My path is interrupted again. God damn it. Do I have to use flying for everything? Seriously. Y'all just can't move, huh? Okay. Um, you know what? I'm gonna do two on this one. Because I'm not so sure if he's gonna die or not. Okay, he would've died, but it's fine. Alright, Shadowheart. Can you... Um, actually... I will sense you being Karlak. Because she's being a pain. <laughs> Alright. Well, I can't do much. So, it is what it is. My path be true. The fuck? What? Why is Lizel hunkered down? Hello? Weird. Ah! I forgot those things do AoE. Anyway. Uh, double Sunday it is. Damn it. Come on. Very good. Alright, it's almost done. Shut up. Ah, 2 HP. Come on. Come on, you got this. Oh, I don't want to use this because it's going to fail. I'm going to have to key blast. All right, you got this. Come on. Motherfucker, I hit a stereo accidentally. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. All right, surely you got this. Come on, it's a 60%. Please. Damn it, man! Blood comes easy these days. Oh, this is so sad. How do I hit a Starion accidentally? Mm, hurts. Hit it. Sister, please! Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's another one. I forgot about that one. Okay, Lizo said. Ah, no self damage. Cringe. Alright, I can't do anything with Gale because if I do, that is potentially extremely bad. It does say fatal. So it's time to leave combat with Gale. Completely. Alright. Uh, let's see now. This is an action. A sneak attack. I'll try the offhand. Hopefully it kills. Good. Now I can withdraw. Like, I get in there. And... I can't use this because it's a sneak attack. Used. How could I use it previously? Anyway. Alright. And then we do the main attack. Good. Battle favors the fearless. I found my mark. And you missed it. Come on. 42 is not ideal. 50. 
Uh, you know what? I'll, I'll, I'll risk the 42 just in case because this is force damage. Potentially bigger damage. Anyway. Alright, surely you got this. Thank you. So, what now? I'm seeing no more skeletons. Oh, he's got what? 7 HP? Brother. Well. Got him. Whatever monster she became, she was a person once. Before this curse. Come on, Romeo. Get the fuck up. Alright. Oh, that's a bunch of gold. Okay. Well, we got like what? One, two, three, four, five, five hundred gold, and possibly items on top. We have a key, dollhouse master office key, unsigned trade visa, two fifty extra gold. When you roll two or less with this weapon's damage die, re-roll it and take the new result. Okay. Interesting. This is piercing damage, though. But potentially useful. It does bludgeoning if you miss. What? Why is it only piercing damage, then? This should be both bludgeoning and piercing more like a 1d4 plus 4 piercing, 1d4 plus 4, you know what I mean? Bludgeoning. That would have made more sense. Okay, hold up. Heart stopper? Chest trauma? What? Undead and constructs can't get chest trauma. The fuck does chest trauma do? Disadvantage on constitution. That is the first time I see chest trauma. It's got Concussive Smash, and it's got Blood Money. Strike out greedily, dealing an additional 3 bludgeoning per 300 gold that the target possesses. The gold will be consumed. Ah. Um... Potentially good, but at the same time... Why would I do that? <laughs> Don't I need gold? I don't know, it's a weird weapon. I'll take it though. I'll... Can I send it to stash? Camp? There we go. Alright, let's read this. Alright. Oh. Oh my god, I actually kind of feel... A little bit proud of my achievement here. <laughs> As weird as that may sound, or may be. Alright, I will... Teleport. Alright. Back to the main plan, which was Moonrise Towers. We're close. I can feel it. That's it, I think it's time for a short rest. His power is strong here. Now, forward. Okay, let's see. We get the Senzu Beanies, which is ideal. I wonder what the next move Shadowheart is. has her heals now, which is very good. I will have to cure wounds. Uh, you know what? I don't have to cure wounds, actually. Because I have two Senzu Beans now. Sharp as ever. Yeah. I have two Senzus, so that is not necessary. I can't afford to stay idle. I can, however, use aid, give everybody extra hit points. I can actually do this. Will doing this as a bonus action still use my spell? I will assume no. Good, very good. So I can do that as a bonus action whenever I feel like it? That means I can literally kind of just heal them for 5 HP whenever... Oh, that's, that's kind of nasty, though. No one back home will ever believe this. If I can increase that, that's free heals for days in AoE. Alright, I think we are 
on the path to Moonrise Towers right now. The fuck you doing here? <laughs> Playtime's over, pet. Okay. Oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. True authority. What do you want, Mizora? Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Absolute's cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress. Moonrise Towers. And you're getting him out. Okay, so... She's against the Absolute? Question mark? Um... Uh, th this is our problem. How exactly? <clears throat> Z, section 13. Motherfucker. It brings the contract. Or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lean mule. Bruh. <laughs> I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to a vernus. Now, Motherfucker. you could pull right. play fetch, pup. Or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hell. Nah, I mean, I like... Zara's words may be flippant, but they're hmm. tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best oh. chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Alright, we'll try. Yeah, let's, let's rescue the asset on the one condition, which is probably gonna free Will of his pact or something. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? Trying to save your ass, dumbass. Yeah, you end Will's pact. Oh, fuck off. Will catches his breath, but says nothing. And your connection fades. Interesting. Now... Why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? The fact that you even had to ask. <laughs> it's obvious this was desperate. Alright. Hmm. Do I go with the uh, intimidation? I think I'll just go with the intimidation. I will intimidate this motherfucker. <laughs> My remodeled frame is bringing me down. What do you mean? Annoying. Anyway. Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand? No, I know. You're fine. Obviously. <laughs> But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. No, we don't do that. Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow reward or favor mm. only upon soul bearer's fulfillment of related obligation. She's not gonna hold her promise. To Moonrise. It's a fucking devil, come on. And do mind the shadows. They've been especially hungry. So here's the thing. Okay, that's a good screenshot for the... I was actually... <clears throat> yeah, okay, that's a good screenshot for the new thumbnail, I think. The up-close-and-personal face of Kromiel is kind of nice. But... Only... In cutscenes. <laughs> Alright, we talked to Karlak and Will, and... Uh... Yeah, uh, what I was gonna say, remember this thing? Where's it at? Who got the maze? Was it on Shadow Heart? Alright, um, come on, where are you at? Let me work my magic. Who has the maze? Did I not get Oh, I sent it to camp. Alright, okay, never mind. Remember the maze had a very specific ability. Saying that every 300 gold it does extra damage. 
Wouldn't it be Zora have a fuckload of gold? Can't I just one shot Mizora with that? <laughs> Accidentally? You know? We could try. We could try. I think Karlak would be very good with that one. Might actually switch the healing one because it's being very annoying. I need a new. Uh, you know what? I need a new lifesteal weapon for Karlak, actually. Alright, let's talk to Will, talk to Karlak, and end the video. Forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Yes. Ooh. This is a good angle for a screenshot, yes. I will try to make this one into a thumbnail. Let me see if I can actually remove Shadowheart's ass cheeks from the screen. <laughs> Alright. Um, She'll be down soon enough. Do the mission, and Mizora will free you from the park. Wait. I thought you were supposed to hunt devils. Doesn't this violate your contract? The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the Infernal, the Demonic, and the Heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons on the front line of the blood war. Miss huh. Morris certainly plays for keeps anyway. Good cutscene visuals though, I'm not gonna lie. Huh. Well. So you're bound to be a lemur. <laughs> Unless Mazora actually fulfills her promise and sets me free. I always knew what my future held, and I know I chose right. <clears throat> Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. I mean it. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. I can feel Mazora scheming, plotting. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Definitely. Me on that. I'm expecting that one. I'm actually expecting a fight. Uh, what do you make of Raphael? No. How does it feel to be a devil? It's said that anyone who bathes in the river of blood emerges as one born anew. It's a lot like that, I imagine. I feel the weight of these horns on my head, curling upwards like a mammoth's tusks. I feel these ridges snaking down my neck. Oh, Will! Your horns are deadly! So much character! Character, you say? Well... Who couldn't use a bit more of that? I'm no, be honest. Have to take your I wouldn't mind being a devil. I've been avoiding my own reflection. Friend, be my mirror. What do you see? A lemur. <laughs> uh, quite a handsome devil, I guess. Um, Might this be the better screenshot with less work? Possibly. Hold up, give me a second, I need to find a good angle for her eyes. Ah, switching. Maybe, okay. Hopefully that one works. <laughs> Alright. Uh, quite a handsome devil. Yes. I can't tell if you're being silly or serious. Motherfucker, I'm a fallen angel. Either way. I Both. I suppose I'll grow used to the new me. Horns and all. The people will see a curiosity. Maybe even a beast hungry for their souls. But I will slay their monsters. Keep them safe. And one day they will see the Blade of Frontiers again. Let me hit the doubt button on that one. I don't think... But you being a devil is reversible. I don't think you're going back to being human. Anyway, uh, what do you make of Raphael? We haven't seen that one in a bit. The story. The Devil with the Silver Tongue, an old fairy tale my father read to me. The kind with a hero, a villain, and a moral. A farmer made a deal with the devil, so the story goes. In That's a screenshot, I'm sorry. <laughs> fruit, the devil granted him a bottomless coin purse. The farmer's dearest fruit, naturally, was no apple nor peach. But his beloved daughter. We can learn a lot from fairy tales. 
don't you think? What I think is that this game needs photo mode. Do they actually plan on doing that? Because I have heard something, but I have yet to actually see it in game. Uh, that said, I have not updated the, my game in a while. I'm still on an old version. So do let me know if that's out just, you know. I would like to try it. Alright. I, I have no intention of uh, bargaining with the uh, good old Rafi. That's because you still have hope. But when he becomes your last hope, remember this. He'll require of you only what you're least ready to part with. And then require more still. You might think you'd give uh -huh. up anything for a cure. But the devil won't take just anything. He'll take everything. Yes. Alright. Karlak is the next one. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our next to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? Hmm. Huh. Alright. With that said... After what we'll sacrifice, we do gotta repay him, kinda, but, you know... The devil did say she's gonna free will. That said, I kinda doubt. Could you live with the will being a limer? <laughs> Will's happiness is my happiness. Is it, though? I'd sooner see myself a okay. limer than him. But it's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You never win. Not ever. We will try. Let's get going. All right, everybody. Next episode, I think we are heading into Moonrise Towers. That's what I'm seeing on the minimap, anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will see you in the next one.